Oh, sorry. Just finishing my pre-hosting waffle snack. I'm obsessed with these things. I'm your dungeon master, your host with the most, holding it down from coast to uh, Briars to Starcourt Mall, smooth as the goo from the Mind Flayers tentacles, the one, the only, Dimension Flippin' Matt Richards, AKA Matt Was Funny. Let's open the gates! Hmm? Come on! Open! Woo! Sorry about opening the gate. I promise I'll use my telekinesis to close it at the end of the game. Welcome to HQ Trivia, baby. If this is your first time joining us, let me tell you how to do it, okay? I'm gonna ask you a series of questions from easy to hard. You got 10 seconds to tap your answer, get a question right, you move on, okay? Answer all the questions right, you win. Tonight, the jackpot is $225,000. Yeah, that's not the only prize we got up for grabs tonight. You can also win money by answering questions correctly throughout the game. If you answer question 11 right, you'll have the option to win some cash and dash. And, uh, that'll make you happy. Or you can keep playing for the big jackpot. You're gonna have that chance to win three more times at question 15, 18, and 21. Extra lives and erasers will not help you on these questions, so keep that in mind. You're also playing for points, baby, okay? If you wanna multiply your points during tonight's game, you can buy a point multiplier. Grab one right now if you see it on your screen. You earn points for every question you answer correct. Points help you reach new levels. Lev levels give you free passes on questions, and free passes get you closer to the jackpot. You can earn points and level up all the way to level 10. Woo! I finished it, okay. This Sunday, we're doing 2000s trivia. Yeah, we're talking trucker hats, the fall of Napster, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Kelly Rowland trying to text people using Excel. What a decade. It's all going down this Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern. That's right, tonight, HQ is for trivia and contemplation. We're going to Hawkins, Indiana, babies. It's Stranger Things trivia. The first half of the game will focus on Stranger Things. Questions 16 and up will be general knowledge. Yeah, it might get a little savage, so you better arm yourself with a bat full of nails or an extra life. Let's do some polls before we start the trivia. You ready? Okay, who would be your Stranger Things BFF? Max, Dustin, or Mike? Let me know and lock it in. And turn that around for the good people at home. Yeah. Dustin, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I think my BFF would be Dustin because we could harmonize. Take a look. Reach the stars. Lie a fantasy. Look at what you see. Never ending story. Oh, what a beautiful song. Here's my next question. What ice cream would you order from Scoops Ahoy? Peppermint stick, strawberry, or vanilla with the sprinkles? Let me know what kind of ice cream. Yeah. Ah, vanilla with the sprinkles from an overwhelming majority. I like that. I personally would try the peppermint stick. Can I try the peppermint stick? Haven't you already tried the peppermint stick? Yes, and I'd like to try it again. I will try it as many times as necessary, okay? Here's my last question for you. Which of these season three characters do you relate to? Alexi, Erica, or Robin? Never ending story. I try you! <laughs> Robin gets 41% of the vote there. I love Robin and Erica, but I think we can all agree Alexi is the you know the most dangerous man in the world. All right, babies, just a few more seconds till we kick it off. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this ego waffle. It's got chocolate chips in it. It out because I'm ready to talk. I mean, yes, yes. Bang. 
All right, babies. Nothing to it but to HQ it. Let's get it cracking with question number one. Stranger Things trivia coming at you right about now. Here we go. Who plays Joyce Byers? Gwyneth Paltrow, Winona Ryder, or Janine Garofalo? Who's it gonna be? Inspired casting. And starting off a comeback for the brunette 90s queen. It's the Winona Sans. Winona Ryder, 209,156. Got it right. Look at you. Ha <laughs> Yee yee. Pick up an extra life, okay? You can use them up to three times in tonight's game. You can buy them all right now if you see it on your screen. You can also buy extra lives throughout the game by tapping that heart icon below. Don't forget, you cannot use an extra life on a question with a prize or after question 12. Groovy, babies. Here we go, Q2. Who is this character? Eleven, Barb, or Demogorgon? Locking those answers, baby cakes. Alrighty. Poor Bob. The short-lived character that launched a million tweets. Bob had to go to the Upside Down. Better to die a hero than see yourself live to become a villain. That's what I always say. 217,075. Got it right. At question two. Moving on to question number three, babies. Here we go. Where does Stranger Things mainly take place? Hawkins, Indiana, Ding Dong, Texas, or Peoria, Illinois? Let's see if y'all really know a thing or two about the Stranger Things. Yeah, yeah. So much crazy stuff happens in this town. You gotta ask yourself, why don't the people just move away from Hawkins, Indiana? 220,869, got it right. That's what I'm talking about. 3,000 you thought it was Ding Dong, Texas. That's, come on now. The name is the strangest thing about that town. Yeah. Question number four. What does Eleven say after this? Ah! She broke my arm! Stop, run, or go. Come on now. Tap, tap, tap it in. What does Eleven say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Eleven is a really good friend to have on your side. She breaks the bully's arm and sends him running. Take a look. My arm! Go. Go! Get out of here! 145,797 got it right. We lost about a lot of you. So if you want to get back in, tap that extra life. Use it or lose it. Come on now. Well, you don't lose it, but you lose the opportunity to play for $225,000. I don't think you want to do that. That's what's up for grabs tonight. Question? That is my favorite. Here we go for the children. I, 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 I almost forgot question five. I, I, I almost forgot question five. I almost forgot, but I didn't for the children. Here we go, Q5, babies. What is the name of the big school dance at the end of season two? Spring fling, snowball, or junior prom? Left. It's the annual snowball, and we get to see the kids all awkward and gussied up. Cute. Do you junior prom? Did you did you junior prom have a theme? Let me know in the chat. One hundred sixty-five thousand three hundred forty-three got it right. The rest of y'all are standing on the wall, but you don't have to tap that extra life and get in the dance. Yeah. Here we go. Question number six. What is the first letter Will sends Joyce over the Christmas lights? R, I, or H? He sent it to her from the upside down. Poor Joyce is desperate to contact Will, right? So she up all the Christmas lights and plays wall Ouija board with him. First letter, R, as in... Where are you? R, good, good. Right here! R, babies, 126,292. Knew what to do, oh shoot, look at you. The rest of you, use one of them extra lives so you don't feel like you're trapped in the upside down. Okay, 
Question seven, here we go. What is the first thing we see Eleven eat? Waffles, burger, or fries? It's a hungry girl using those powers. Of course, we all know Eleven's favorite thing to eat is Eggo waffles, right? Yeah, but when she first bursts out of government surveillance, she's in a diner, so she chows down on some french fries. Fries! 91,723. That was almost savage. We got a lot of people using those extra lives. I see you. I see you tapping it. Wise decision, okay? Question number eight. Hope you're feeling great. Here we go. <laughs> Look at him. It's a mug and an eight. And gloves for the children. Question eight. What is Billy Hargrove wearing when he is first introduced? White tank top, denim on denim, or he's shirtless? Billy Hargrove, y'all. Rock me like a hurricane. When we first meet Billy, we're treated to a gorgeous intro of Billy smoking. Don't do that, kids, okay? And he's wearing this. A jean jacket and jeans. The old Canadian tuxedo. 120,435. Denim, denim, denim. Denim, 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 denim. Denim on denim, babies. Question number nine, here we go. What song is playing when Lucas asks Max to dance at the snowball? Every breath you take, hot blooded, or time after time. What's it going to be? All right, did y'all know the Stranger Things takes place in the 80s, huh? Well, in case you missed it, the music might remind you. Take a look. Are you trying to ask me to dance, Stalker? No, of course not. Unless you want to. If you love and you look and you will find me. Time after time. 81,385 got it right. That was a great slow dance song right there. And a cute scene. Okay, here we go, question 10. Which of these actors has not lent their voice to a Stranger Things voice message marketing campaign? Brett Gelman, Winona Ryder, or Paul Reiser? Who's it gonna be? Numbers and let fans call you, for example. Okay, it was Paul Reiser with the voicemail message. And season three, it's conspiracy theorist Murray Bauman, played by Brett Gelman. Yee yee! 52,278, just nailed it. We're moving on to question 11. It's your first opportunity to win some cash from the money flipper. What, what? Here we go. Get this one right. I flip some money in your direction. Okay, babies. Q11. What is Hopper's first move in this dance scene? Look. Is it a finger snap, leg kick, or shoulder shimmy? What's it gonna be? Okie dokie, this dance set the internet on fire. All right, you gotta admit, David Harbour, the most Canadian salmon dude who is not Canadian, he's got some great moves. Starting with this one. Up, down, got it, hustlers. Hey, let's get it. Let's get it. Ah. Oh my God. That's a savage question. Yeah. Savage question. Sorry, you got it wrong. 26,344 players are about to get an offer. Eight cents. Going out to 26,343 of you. What are you gonna do? You're gonna take the cash and dash or you gonna stay and play? We got four questions till the next prize. The choice, babies, is yours. What's it gonna be? 5,265 players decided to take eight cents and I ain't mad at you. We still have 21,077 playing, okay? Four questions till the next prize. Let's go to work. Question 12, this is your last chance to use an extra life in the game tonight, okay? Here we go. Q12. What movie encouraged the actress who plays Eleven to cut her hair? G.I. Jane, V for Vendetta, or Mad Max Fury Road? What's it 
Ruby. Millie Bobby Brown was understandably not pumped to shave her head. But the Duffer brothers showed her a picture of Charlize Theron, and then she saw how totally rad it could look. Boom! Head shaved. 14,234. Got it right. Y'all came to play, I came to pay. That's what I like to say. Question 13, Jelly Beans, here we go. What is the last Dungeons and Dragons action performed in this scene? Take a look. The Demogorgon! Oh, we're a deep shit. Will, your action! I don't know. Fireball! Grapple, protection spell, or neither. All right, the boys are yelling at Will to pick an action. Either fireball or protection spell, both, both could work, okay? But they drop a piece, then they get interrupted. So nothing ends up getting played. Neither. Oh my gosh. Woohoo! Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. There's a savage question song. Don't worry, you're not glitching. I'm still doing it. Yeah. Question 14, here we go. According to the Stranger Things creators, the DNA of which 80s film is written all over the show? Stand By Me, The Thing, or E.T.? Obviously, the Brothers Duffer took inspiration from all those things, but it's the Stephen King story, The Body, AKA Stand By Me, that has the DNA. Stand by me. Yeah. What, what? 2,236 players are moving on to question 15. That's another prize. You get this one right, I flip some money in your direction. Here we go, babies. Get ready. In season three, the Stranger Things writers challenge viewers to find an Easter egg related to what character? Marty McFly, Beetlejuice, or E.T.? What's it gonna be? If you look real close at Mr. Clark's town model, right? Remember that? You'll find a very curious tombstone that is a much smaller version of the one used for Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. 1,081 got Beetlejuice. That means I'm flipping some money to 1,081 of you. Here we go. $2.79. Going out to a whole bunch of people. What you gonna do? You gonna take the cash and dash or you gonna stay and play? We got three questions to the next prize, you guys. Oh, ho, ho. Yes, 622 players decided to take $2.79. We got 455 still playing. Let's cheer them on, y'all. If you're still in the game and you watching and you ain't playing no more, throw some fire emojis. Somebody, put a fire emoji. Come on, just cheer them on. Put a fire under their behind. And just make them say, Woo! I feel it! I feel it! I feel the fire! Woo! Woo, it's hot! I'm sweating! Okay, here we go. Oh, that was the last straight question for tonight. So congratulations to everyone who answered all 15 correctly. Now, it's time to choose what's about to happen. Not really. Uh, it's about to close, it's time to close the gate! That's what I was trying to say. Woo, I really am sweating because I get nervous at this part and excited. Here we go, all the rest of these questions are general knowledge, okay? Brace yourselves. Question 16, which of these countries was admitted to the UN most recently? Slovakia, Switzerland, or Serbia? What's that going on by here? Come on now, get with it. The United Nations is doing a pretty good job of keeping nations united. Slovakia was admitted to the UN in 1993 and Serbia in 2000. But Switzerland took its sweet time and wasn't admitted till 2002. 115 got it. Oh my gosh. That's a savage question. Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage question song. That's a savage question song. Woo Here we go. Q17. Which of these hip hop artists does not have the real last name Smith? Chuck D, Method Man, or Lil Jon? 
Locking those ass, babies. All right, Lil John's real name is Jonathan Smith. What? Okay. And uh, Myth's real name is Clifford Smith. But Chuck D's real name is Carlton Douglas Rodenhauer. Did y'all know that? Chuck D, baby, baby, come on now. 54 of you got it right. That means you're moving on to question 18, another chance to catch some of the money that I'm flipping. Get it right, you know the deal. I flips the money to you. Here we go, Q18. The largest mall in North America also contains the world's largest what? Indoor amusement park, indoor shooting range, or indoor lake? What's it gonna be? The largest mall in North America is West Edmonton Mall in Alberta, Canada, which also contains the world's largest indoor lake. Deep Sea Adventure Lake. Yeah, let's see. Oh my God, that was Savage AF. Woo! Shoot! Yowza! Gosh, eight players. Got it right. I'm flipping some money. Woo! Woo! $285.72 is going to 70 of you. What you gonna do? You gonna take $285.72? Oh! Congratulations! Everybody took the money! Wow! That was intense! Woo! Congrats to all the winners and to everyone who reached a new level. I'm Matt Rich. Make sure you follow me on all the socials at Matt Was Funny. I had so much fun with y'all tonight. Be sure to come back tomorrow. We got more trivia at 9 p.m. and words at 9.30. Until then, have an awesome night, babies. I'll take it easy and love each other. Everybody's your sister or your brother. Take it easy. Have a waffle. Eat the waffle with your friend. Have a waffle with your friend.